for watching Power App Solutions in Minutes. Uh, in our last video, we created uh, an Azure function, a very, very basic one that takes a um, HTTP trigger um, as its execution method. And uh, so what we're going to do here is uh, just cover some basics. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, select our web app because we want to go ahead and deploy this to Azure so that we can then uh, see if it actually works outside of our local machine. So I'm going to use an existing place called Azure Function Example Dynamics Tuber Alex. I'll deploy it here. And so that's going through that process of deploying. Once the deployment is completed, I can view the output. I can see that it did a lot of work here. Took a lot of my information and files and directories and was able to deploy that over to Azure. Now, the next step is to go ahead and run a build task to make sure that we have our function in the queue so that we can then run it. And so we'll go ahead and just pick this one and click execute function now. And right here in this JSON that we're passing where the parameter is a name and the value that we're passing in is Azure and that's what the application is expecting in that request. We're going to go ahead and post that. And of course project isn't running locally so make sure you hit control F5. And then you should be able to go ahead and run this. So here we go. Execute the function, pass in what it's expecting. And then you should get a response. And here's the response. Hello Azure, this HTTP triggered function executed successfully. In our next video, what one thing we're gonna show is um, setting up um, an Azure storage um, and we'll be able to take a look and uh, actually see these messages um, being captured inside of a queue. So looking forward to making that video. Uh, it'll probably come out tomorrow. Thank you so much uh, for watching and have a wonderful rest of your weekend.